A scathing federal audit found waste and abuse of federal tax dollars in Nevada's hardest hit fund. And today, Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears has more on the story she first broke last fall. A newly released report shows how much of our money was misspent. And Darcy asks, what's being done about it? to help struggling homeowners pay their mortgage has been repeatedly identified as one of the most inefficient agencies in the federal relief program, keeping as much money as it gives out and only helping a fraction of homeowners in need. The Special Inspector General for the Troubled Asset Relief Program originally said the Nevada Affordable Housing Assistance Corporation, or NAHAC, wasted 8.2 million tax dollars on things including perks for employees and a bonus for the boss. It took a year for the U.S. Treasury Department to review auditors' findings. Now they say only a fraction of that money was used for what they call unallowable administrative expenses. The nonprofit federally funded agency was asked to reimburse the hardest hit fund just over $82,000. That's only 1% of the $8.2 million SIGTARP says was wasted. Most of the improperly spent money was for legal fees associated with the Department of Labor investigation, but there was also eight grand in personal car expenses for the CEO's Mercedes, 4,500 for his bonus, and nearly 13,000 for employee parties, outings, lunches, and gifts. Nahak recently paid the money back and today issued the following statement. With this payment, we believe this investigation is closed and Nahak can get back to tending to our mission to help Nevadans hardest hit by the downturn in the housing market. There are about $85 million left in Nevada's hardest hit fund and four years to get it all out to homeowners in need. The board and management at NAHAC during the time the money was misspent are all gone now. The state attorney general is still investigating whether any criminal acts were committed and NAHAC's new board is still deciding whether it will be cost effective to hold individuals accountable. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.